in the tooth to reach the infected pulp area. Then the infected contents of the pulp chamber are carefully removed using root canal files. A series of root canal files of increasing diameter are subsequently placed into the access hole and worked down the full length of the tooth to scrape and scrub the sides of the root canals. It is necessary to remove the entire nerve in order to prevent reinfection and toothache after the procedure. Frequent irrigation of the root canals is done using sodium hyperchlorate to flush away the debris. Once the entire tooth is completely cleaned, it is dried with tiny absorbent paper points. After the canals have been dried, they are filled with a rubber-like substance called gutta percha. The purpose of this filling material is to seal the canals inside the tooth. The tooth is then restored with a permanent filling material. Root canal treated teeth tend to become brittle and can break because the blood supply to the tooth is removed during the procedure. Therefore, after a root canal treatment, the tooth should be protected with a crown. The purpose of the crown is to prevent the tooth from breaking in the future.